Rusty, congratulations. I can see by the smile on your face, you thoroughly enjoyed that one up there, didn't you? I really did. I'm very happy now. Good game as well. Apart from the one set you dropped, you were in control of the match. Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I knew that I was favourite, and if I played my game, and he couldn't beat me if I played my game. So I knew that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna win from the start. Of. The year you've had, your confidence must be through the roof. With everything that you've achieved on the development tour. I know the grandstand didn't go according to plan. You've still won. You're still producing great performances. That's the reason why I'm talking like this. With a lot of confidence, and the Raven tour gave me a really good boost. And as well as the play championship, I was play performing well all year, so I'm very happy to do it. But it's got to be more in the next couple of years. Is there a little bit of extra pressure because your brother had already won on you? That, that sibling rivalry, the fact that he'd done it and you didn't want to match him? I mean, not, not really, because he knew that it's, um, it's my debut. So basically, I, kn I knew that I've got nothing to lose, really. I knew that I'm going to win, but I knew I've got not if I lose, I've got nothing to lose, really, because I've got my token now. So if I, if I didn't win, I would start from, from, the, from the start of the season in January or February. Does it help being obviously in England, playing at the World Championship, that your brother is here with you? Because a debut at the World Championships can be quite daunting. Yes, um, he spent the whole day with me and I mean, I'm very glad he came and we, we, he talked to me, he, he gave me a lot of advice to do and I'm very thankful for that. Your name's been mentioned for many years as the next one coming through, the next one that's going to do damage. Now you've got your card and everyone's seeing it, do you really feel that you can go and make huge, huge strides in this sport? I'm not playing just to keep my tour card, I'm just playing to go top 16, that's my goal. And I'm not playing for tour card, if I just keep top 64, but I'm gonna, I'm not playing for that, otherwise I wouldn't play just to keep the tour card, so watch out, yeah. How good can you be? Very good, without a doubt, very good. Rusty, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you appreciate much. it. Rusty, just talking, you mentioned those challenge tour wins. How important is it to get into a winning mentality, especially going into something? It was like a that? development tour. Development tour, sorry. <laughs> it was um, very good. I mean, I played put, like for really, really good darts at the development tour and gave me a lot of. Up, up start of this year, I was practicing, so I think that practice made me help to win them games. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically happy to produce what I'm doing on practice on the, on, on the tournaments now. After you saw. Rogers average the other day. Was there a part of you that wanted to just go one step and? I didn't look. I didn't know what what average he he had. I think they were very similar. I think he was about ninety eight. You were ninety seven. Ah, oh, right. And <laughs> I didn't look for it. I just focused on myself really. And uh, was he gave me advice how to win. And <laughs> thanks God I've done it. Looking forward to the next game now. You must have so much confidence and so much pressure off your shoulders after getting the debut out of the way. Yeah, of course. I mean, every, from, from now on, it's going to be a bonus, just experience and how to play on that stage. And it's not going to be my last time over here. So we're just looking forward to, to the game to, against Chris Lobby. Thank you very much, Rusty. Cheers.